Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use collections library in robot framework test automation. Collections is robot framework's standard library that provides a set of keywords for handling Python lists and dictionaries. This library has keywords, for example, for modifying and getting values from lists and dictionaries, and for verifying their contents. In Python, the list is the most versatile data type, which can be written as a list of comma separated values between square brackets. Important thing about a list is that items in a list needn't be of the same type. Creating a list is as simple as putting different comma separated values between two square brackets. In this example, I will teach you these keywords. Create list, append to list, log list, list should contain value. Create list is used for creating a list for a given list variable. Please remember that for a list, when we create a variable, we always use this at symbol at the beginning of the variable. But when we use a list, we use the dollar sign. So create list is used to create a list variable for a given name. Append to list. Append to list adds values to the end of the list. Log list logs the length and the contents of the list using given level. List should contain value. This keyword is used to verify the value from the list items. This keyword fails if the value is not found from the list. Let's see the example. Add curly bracket my list equal to create list. So I created a list and named it my list. Append to list. We add an item to the list, a symbol A, and next line add B to the list, next line add C to the list, next line add D to the list, and now we add A, B, C, D to the list. On row number 7, log list. So we have 1, two, three, four, five items in the list. Log list will log the content and the length of the list. At the last row, list should contain value. We do the assertion. List should contain value, my list, A, B, C, D. Since we have multiple tests in the collections keyword test suite, I target the test case as list test one. Let me copy the tag. Now let's go to the test suite collections keyword test suite. Please remember that we need to use the collections library in the robot framework. So we imported the library collections. Now let's run the test. Click on run tab. So only run tests with these tags. Now let's paste 
the tags here list test one now let's save it now let's start the test so we have one critical test one passed one test total one passed and three output files were generated let's look at the console output so first line we created a list named my list and it has zero items the inside the square bracket there is no item so as first item we added a the index is zero second item is b third item is c and fourth item is d fifth item is a b c d and the list test passed let's look at the log So each keyword is successful. The list is created, name it my list. The item A is added to the list. Item B is added to the list. And C, D, and A, B, C, D, and log my list. So in this log list keyword, it returns the length of the list and number of items because we have five items in the list so length is five and it contains following items a b c d a b c d and last keyword list should contain value my list a b c d this keyword is successful because the background of the keyword is green. Now let's change this test script. List should contain value. Let's give it a different value. Let's say, let's add another symbol, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now let's save it. This test should fail because the item A, B, C, D, E, F, G is not in the list. Now let's run the test case. Start. And if you see the result, append to list test failed. Because the last step failed. Let's look at the log. So in this test suite, we have one test case append to list test and at the last step all other steps passed but the last step failed because fails if the value is not found from list and a b c d a b c d these are five items in the list does not contain value a b c d e f g as explained in this video tutorial you can use create list to create a list item and you can use append to list to add an item to the list you can use the keyword log list to log the content and length of the list and list should contain value is used for verifying the list. If you have any questions, please visit more examples on www.seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.